Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I'm excited to share our new garage workshop and storage space with you all. We moved this past summer, and while we love the house, it is perfect, the yard is much smaller than what we had before. So much so that there's no room for a shed. And the shed in our last place is where we kept all of the kids' bikes and all the toys and all of our tools. And so now, we were like really classy, you guys. The bikes were in the driveway, the yard tools were like leaned up against the corners of the fences, and our tools were like tucked behind the fence with tarps over top. It was really just, you wanna be our neighbor. So we are so excited to have this space finished, and I am so grateful for Home Depot Canada in partnering on this with us so that we could get it done a little bit ahead of schedule. So today I want to just show you the whole space, talk a little bit about the different finishes and storage pieces that we chose, and then I'm going to be back next week to talk specifically about the workshop wall and how we're going to use it and how we use it with kids helping. So before I get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love it if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Let's check it out. So some of the things that we chose to do in this space, we finished it off with drywall and added two windows. And we did that for natural light for when we're working. And also so that when we're working in here, we can kind of see the road and see the kids playing. And these are just cellular shades. And I specifically chose the ones that are light filtering, not blackout, so that they give the privacy and keep everything in here safe but they still let light in. So when you walk in in the middle of the day, you're not walking into like a black hole. So the windows help add light to here in the daylight. But the other thing that we did is we added four pot lights in here to make sure that it's extra bright, even if we're working into the night, which let's be honest, you guys, we have four kids. Most of our renovations happen when they're sleeping at night. Painting the walls a nice bright white also helped. This one is called Swan White, it's by Bear, and it's just a nice clean white without being too stark and industrial. Beyond the windows, we also gave the garage floor a coating. And we did this for a few reasons. It was really beat up, there was tons of cracks in it. I mean, it had been used really well and been through the elements because the space was never finished off before with a garage door. So we used an epoxy filler to fill the cracks and then we used the Rust-Oleum epoxy floor coating for garages. And we did that, but since it is a brushed concrete with lots of you know holes and cracks, we also went and we got the clear epoxy finish for on top of that. That just helped even out some of the brush texture and really lock those paint chips in when they were up on the ridges and just really feels way more durable now than with just the one coating of the garage floor coating. So this space had to do a few things for us. It had to be our workshop where we could use our saws and where we could use our tools in the winter time. And it also had to be great storage for us for all of our yard stuff and things that we have with kids. Last but not least, we really needed a place to store our tires. So how we made this space work to meet all of these goals is by splitting it right down the middle. On the left hand side, we have our workshop, which we will use to not only store all of our tools, but to do projects in. There's a few work surfaces there, and then we can pull out the saws. And then on the other side, we have all of our family storage. And so this is things that we would have kept in our shed in our last house. So things like our garden tools and shovels, things like our kids' bikes and helmets, balls, hoses, electrical cords, all that kind of stuff that you really need a place to store, but you don't want taking up all of your floor space. And if you don't have a good storage solution for it, they end up piled in your driveway, not from experience, of course. To make all of this happen, finding the perfect storage pieces that fit the space and were also functional was the challenge. I had actually bought a couple other things that I thought would be really great and really useful. I bought a roof storage rack. It was really too big for a garage that is this small. 
We did get the tire racks to deal with the tires instead of using the overhead storage. These just go on the one wall and they hold all four tires for each of our vehicles um, because we live in a climate where we have to switch from winters to summers. So we're always storing one set of tires. I am really excited that the garage wall not only fits two sets of tires right there beside the door, but underneath we've also fit our compressor and our shop vac, which are things that are really too big to go on shelves, but they've got to be somewhere. And this way they don't take up any more floor space. The track walls, you guys, these are a game changer for storage in our garage. I did a whole post on them last week because I really think that they're awesome for storing and getting things off the ground and using that vertical space. But this is really our solution for all of the things that we needed to store. And there is lots of room to grow on both of these. We haven't unpacked everything. It's still sitting in boxes because we just had nowhere to put it all. So over this next year, as we unpack more, I'm sure we will fill these slat walls up to the max but the amount that they can hold is just incredible. Over on the workshop wall, we have uh, workbenches. These are all from Husky, and actually the track wall systems are from Husky as well. I am so impressed by all of the garage solutions that Husky has, I'm a bit obsessed. These store all of our tools, which makes it really easy to find any kind of hand tools. And then we have most of the power tools that we use regularly up on the slat wall and in the baskets on the slat wall. And then in the cabinet at the end of the garage there, that full height storage cabinet, which is also Husky, we have all of the box tools that we pull out a little bit less regularly, like our Dremel and Craig Jig and anything that, you know, comes in its own carrying case. Last but not least here, we have the folding workbench. And what I really love about this folding workbench is that it can be folded down when it's not in use so that you can store stuff in front of it. And so this is where we're storing our saws when they are not in use. But then when we set up into workshop mode, we pull the saws out, we set them up, and we fold up this workbench. And then we have a whole nother space to set things when we're working. I made this one a cute little duckle just to kind of designate it as the kids workbench when they're in here helping us that they have a place, they can work, but it's just a fun touch to make the garage a little bit more us. Another little thing that I put in here because I can't help myself, but DIY a little something something is this wooden pennant that I have up on the track wall. All right, so with the saws over there is kind of how we would have it if we didn't have any projects coming up, if we wanted them out of the way so that we could be using the yard stuff or that sort of thing. But when we are working in here, this is kind of how we're gonna use it. This way we have access to the chop saw and to the table saw. We have this really cool stand for the chop saw that we picked up from Home Depot recently as well. And I really like it because it gives supports without setting up additional saw horses. All right, I'm gonna leave it like this today because we have a project later tonight where we're gonna be using both of these tools. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you next time.